IBM Cloud Satellite Infrastructure Service, the latest version of IBM MQ, and new field guides for IBM operations, all on this episode of IBM Cloud Now. What's up, y'all? My name is Ian, and I am back to bring you the latest and greatest news and announcements from IBM Cloud. To start things off this week, let's take a look at the all-new IBM Cloud Satellite Infrastructure Service, which essentially allows you to have public cloud in your data center on flexible, fully managed, as-a-service infrastructure. Satellite Infrastructure Service allows you to modernize your applications safely before migrating them to the public cloud. It also allows you to modernize parts of your data center stacks without breaking these legacy application interdependencies. Best of all, you can have peace of mind when it comes to Satellite Infrastructure Service on-prem infrastructure. It's pre-architected, validated, optimized, and fully managed by the industry leader in managed IT services, us. IBM Cloud Satellite Infrastructure Service brings IBM Public Cloud to your data center on fully managed pay-per-use infrastructure, providing you financial and technological flexibility. To learn more about the new service, check out the blog link I've put below in the description of this video. Next up, let's take a look at the new version of IBM MQ, 9.2.3. MQ facilitates the exchange of information within and across hybrid cloud, multi-cloud, microservices, and serverless applications. The new version helps you accelerate digital transformation by supercharging the value of existing data, enabling native high availability, and simplifying hybrid multi-cloud management. This release provides several key new features, including streaming queues, native high availability, and MQ console remote queue manager support. The release also contains a number of important improvements and updates to existing features. So hit the link below for the full rundown. To wrap things up today, I want to introduce two new IBM architecture field guides for IBM operations. These field guides are handy introductions to applying IBM's agile service management operations methodology to your organization and streamlining your processes. The first one is the IBM Cloud Service Management and Operations Field Guide. This documents our approach to designing, implementing, and continuously improving the operations management processes you use in your enterprise. The second is the all-new IBM AI Ops Field Guide. This one documents our approach to the infusion of artificial intelligence into existing operational processes, including incident, problem, and change management. Each of these field guides are free to download, and you can find the links in the blog I've got linked below. Thanks so much for joining me today for this episode of IBM Cloud Now. If you're interested in learning more about the topics I've covered, make sure you explore the links in the description of this video. And again, please don't forget to subscribe to our channel to stay up to date on what's going on in the cloud now.